Here we go, we're gonna fire it up for the first time. Hi guys, it's uh, Tim from Crowdlays and we're back again. Today, what we're gonna do is just show my first thoughts on the new Epilogue laser. So we've got our new Epilogue Fusion Pro laser. Just run through a few things of just starting it up and just seeing how we go with it all. So come through. So what we're gonna do now is uh, step over here into our Corel Draw. We'll have a look over here. So we'll open up Corel Draw. We'll probably just create a new file. And I've set up a preset here called Fusion Pro. And we set the Fusion Pro preset to be 609.6 by 609.6 uh, millimeters. Uh, if you want to talk in uh, inches, it's obviously 24 by 24 inches. So there you go. Just gave it a resolution of there and probably change it to perceptual. That doesn't really matter. All we really need is just that it's in RGB form, RGB. So that's all we need. Leave it as untitled, or we could just call it uh, test. So there we go. Open up a new file, so we've got that nice square there like that. So what we can do is we'll just grab a little test piece. So what we'll do is, just for a test, we're going to make a little square and we'll just make it, uh, break that off, and we'll just make that down to probably uh, 10 mil square. And I'm just gonna infill that with black and right click on there to make it so it's got no outline, but just infill it with black. Um, and then we might actually make another square on the outside. Actually, we'll, we'll just press Control C, Control V, and we'll double the size. We'll make that 20 mil. And then this time we'll make it so it's um, right click the red, and then a left click that one. So then that way it makes the outline like that. And there we go. So we just got an outline. We make sure that that outline is a hairline. So we just want to make sure it's a hairline that'll do it. So we'll send that off to the laser. So we'll just press print, make sure it's got the epilogue laser selected and off we go, we press print. It opens up their epilogues dashboard and you can actually see on this um, epilogue fusion pro, you can actually see where you're going to engrave. So um, we've got this, it automatically separated the vector line from the engraving. Um, we can even set for whatever material we're going to have. So what I might do is we'll race over to the machine over here. So unboxing videos, that's something a little bit new on our channel. What we're going to do is a little bit different process. It's going to just race out there, have a little watch of the way we're going to go and just watch the video, watch the laser just turn up and throw it all together in our first little steps of uh, setting it all up. So see how it goes. Uh, make sure you watch through the end to see all that stuff. Have fun. Okay, so over at the machine, we just uh, lift up the door here and we're just gonna put in a bit of old um, MDF. We just got this little bit of three mil MDF. There's a little bit of scrap. And we're just gonna sit that in there wherever you feel like it because we've got cameras here to decide where that's gonna be. So close the door up. And then we'll head back over to the computer. So back over here on the computer, we can see now that a piece of MDF that we've just put in there, we can see that it's just sat in there like that. And we just grab this job that we've sent over to it, which is this one. We can just lay that down in there and you see how the board's on a little bit of an angle. What we can actually do is grab a hold of that and just twist it just to line that up. So that way we get it in there exactly where we want it. How nice is that? That's actually a pretty cool little feature that we can just fit that in wherever we want it to go. It looks really nice there like that. So. Uh, with our settings, we just want to make sure that we've got we've got on CO2. We've got this on uh, standard because we've just got a we're just going to make a black box there, and we just want to make sure that air assist is turned on. We're just using their pre-made settings, so our settings that we're using here is just going to be just the wood engraving and this clipper text one. So we just press on that and press import from their library. This is just their generic library. That's the settings we need for that one, and then the same for the cutting on the three mil of this one. This is just the Epilogue's pre-made settings and we'll just see how they go. And what we'll do then, we'll better make up a chart later on to fine tune these settings and get them exactly how we need them for the materials that we're using. But for the moment, for our little test, go with their standard settings, make sure that both of them got air assist turned on because it's gonna generate a bit of smoke being this wood like this. And that one's on vector, so we're all good to go. We'll send that over to the laser now. 
And there we go. Head over to the laser and we'll uh, see how it's going to look when we go to press print and see what happens there. Okay, so we're back over at the laser and um, if you can see up on top of there, we've just uh, got the jobs appeared up there in the list. But what we'll do is we can turn this red dot pointer on and I'll just grab a hold of this, the laser so I can move it. And I'll use the little joystick here to move the laser. And you can see how we've got that little red dot pointer there. We can see exactly where it's going. So if you look down in here, you see that red dot pointer. We can line it up to where we need it to go. Um, or what I can do is actually press this button over here. If, as long as it's selected on that job, we has got that job there. Um, we press this button on the side here while that red dot pointer is going. And we can actually see an outline to see where it's going to um, etch it. So that's nice and exactly where we need it. It's a good little feature that they have there. So now we just press go. And you're watching it etch there. So there we go, we have that one job there etched. So there we have it guys, we're um, etching a job in our Apolog Fusion Pro. And here's the finished uh, little item that it's just got um, engraved. You'll see if I can get the, um, a little bit better light onto the subject. We'll show some little pictures at the end anyway. And um, you'll just see just a photo of, of this little pre-cut little test square. But you'll notice that the, the sides of them are just a little bit too dark. So I'd be able to probably back those settings off a little bit. So their pre-made settings are a little bit overboard, but we'll back them off, make it a little bit nicer edge on that, and um, we'll be able to fine tune our settings later on. But just for a um, straight out of the box and a few little settings, just to, um, with their pre-made settings ready to go, still does the job, it's all good. And I really like their camera system. It's about to line things up, so you can just chuck the workpiece in there and, uh, and, and get the um, just align the job up um, by off the screen and do it that way um, and then I also like the button where you can press the button to make it do an outline and it can send it over and then just do a little outline when it runs around and you can line up the piece that way yes yeah, so there's a few different ways to do it and uh, straight out of the box so yeah I think I think this um, Epilogue Fusion Pro is going to be a little bit of a advantage over my old laser the way I used to have to do it I used to have to get rulers out and measure up everywhere just about to, to try and figure out whereabouts I wanted to put something and if I needed to fit within an old piece of MDF um, that's already had like um, cake toppers or something like that cut out of it it's a little bit harder to line it up where with the new fusion what you'll be able to do is just sit the board straight in there um, line up the artwork to fit within wherever I need it to fit to make the where the cake top is going to fit in there and it'll just etch it straight out so that'll be really really awesome and I can't wait to do a, a lot more with it if you haven't already make sure you subscribe uh, click that bell icon down there keep notified of any of the new videos that we have coming out if you liked it give us a thumbs up and comment down below make sure you do that just to let us know anything else that you need to you want us to do videos of and yeah we might put them into the next video so thank you and stay tuned Happy making.